time for the football stadium videos to return. It's kind of hard to find ones that we've not already done, but there are still a few out there. We've still got a few on the list. Today, we're doing the best high school football stadiums in America. Now, this is going to be interesting for me because when I played football or soccer in England in high school, you're just playing on a muddy field with maybe 10 people watching, if you're lucky. That's it. That's genuinely it. It doesn't matter how good you are. You've got 10 people there. That's all you get. No one cares about high school football. So this is going to be interesting. We're going to dive straight into this. Do subscribe if you're new around there. All that good stuff. Let's go. Before we get started, there is some criteria. Got some criteria. The capacity is not a determining factor. Okay. And I give preference to stadiums that house only one high school versus one that was built for an entire I respect that district. decision. These are ranked from lowest to highest. Number 10. Round Valley ends... Round Valley High School. Eager Areas Open 91. 5,500 people! The only domed high school football stadium in the United States that serves one school exclusively. <laughs> this is number 10. What? Yo. <laughs> the Round Valley End Sphere is constructed out of wood. Opened in 1991, the 189,000 square foot facility can seat up to 5,500 fans for football and also serves as a venue for volleyball, basketball, and track. In 2015, the And soccer. There's football nets right there. Home was closed due to water damage. Seriously, water damage in the desert? It was reopened in 2016. Mullet Sporting Mark Gastineau is a graduate of Round Valley High School. I've got nothing negative to say about any of these stadiums. If that's number 10, that's absurd. Honestly. Honestly. I wonder if no one will have even made a list on these in the UK because there isn't any. But I wonder what our best one in the country is. Probably nowhere near as good as that. The Star, Frisco Independent School District, Frisco, Texas. 12,000 people. You're mad. Though probably the nicest facility on this list, the star in Frisco goes early here as it is more of a showcase stadium for the town of Frisco versus a single high school stadium's home field. Open in 2016 That's beautiful and owned as well. by Jerry Jones, the building also serves as the Cowboys practice facility, hosts okay. a pro lacrosse team, and was to be the site of the AAF championship game that never happened. The Frisco Independent School District has 10 high schools and they rotate the use of the star throughout uh, the year. Okay, this okay. is also where some shit posters got together nearby and ate on the football field. So I wonder if they're actually selling that out for high school football games. Because 12,000 is a lot of people, man. Diamond Ranch Academy Stadium. Diamond Ranch Academy. Hurricane, Utah. I do not want to live in a place called Hurricane. Capacity 1,000. Okay. Unique. Field design isn't reserved solely for college football as the Diamond Ranch Academy Stadium has adorned its field with its namesake. The institute is a residential treatment center and therapeutic boarding school and helps teens with a variety of issues including ADHD. So it's the high school I should have gone to. <laughs> I mean there's no stands on this one but I actually really like it you know it's such a cool Helps setting just in the middle variety. of the desert look at that that's actually, that's really nice. That's proper nice. No stands or anything, but I mean, it says capacity a thousand. Is that just saying that a thousand people can stand around the field? Because if you go in off that, it's more than a thousand. You have issues, including ADHD. Unless so it's an unfinished picture. It's cool though. I like it. Alamo Stadium, San Antonio Independent School District, open 1940. 18,500. No way this is just for Another one school. Another large stadium in Texas that is run by an independent school district. Alamo Stadium looks like one you will truly remember. <laughs> this looks so wonky. It's so wonky. Why is it... This this just, just wonky. What is going on? <laughs> so if this were a D1 stadium, I would probably make fun of it like a woman getting hit in the face with a blender at McDonald's. But then I remember that most high schools play on fields that look like they are in Chernobyl. The 18,500 seat stadium was originally opened in 1940 and used to host the Texas A&M slash Texas Tech college football rivalry from 1943 to 1950. Okay, it's, it's cool. It's very cool. It's very big, but it is a bit dodgy looking that one, isn't it? Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium, Canton McKinley High School. So this is just for one high school, 23,000. This is a joke, man. I knew, I I already knew that high school football does get some crowds and stuff, but I didn't know it was like this. 
The host of the annual Hall of Fame what game, is this picture the first taste of NFL football for us addicted Americans after a long off season. This field received okay. significant upgrades in 2016. That's a beautiful stadium as well, man. To NFL level facility. The field serves local high school Canton McKinley as well as Malone and Walsh universities. Late billionaire and former Saints owner Tom Benson obviously donated the money to renovate the facility, which was formerly known as Fawcett Stadium. It's a beautiful stadium. That's better than some like League Two, League One football stadiums in England. Paul Brown Tiger Stadium, Massillon, Washington High School in Ohio. 16,392, a very random number, but there we go. Open 1939, it's not a been remodeled. Shrine to former Massillon High School coach, alum, and football pioneer Paul Brown. This large capacity high school stadium Google in Ohio has been standing on this one. since 1939. The Massillon Tigers have won 24 state championships and 9 AP national championships. Really nice there. again. There's a lot more winning at this Paul Brown Stadium than that other one in Ohio. Well, I mean, what can I say? I've got nothing negative to say. The high school football stadiums in the bloody massive Fatita Field, Bishop Gorman High School. I've heard of this high school, Las Vegas, Nevada, 2012, 10,000. Aren't these in that um, QB1? Is QB1 the high school one? Bishop Gorman. I think they. I think these are. Who was it who played for them? It weren't Spencer Rattler. It was that other Tate kid, the blonde dude, rich kid. Am I getting mixed up here? I think that's right. Let me know down below. Home of the private Catholic school Bishop Gorman in Summerlin, Nevada. Fertitta Field is way better than most Division II and even some Division I FBS fields. It's certainly nicer than nearby Sam Boyd. With upgrades funded by restaurant tours, casino, UFC owners, and Bishop grads, the Fertitta brothers, uh, the Fertitta brothers makes sense. huge upgrades and spawned three consecutive national championships and nearly a consecutive decade of winning the state championship. The stadium would rank higher if not for that complete ripoff of the Packers logo at midfield, which they can do since they are a high school. That's a nice stadium again, once again. All of them are nice. Jones Stadium, El Paso High School, El Paso, Texas, open 1916 with a capacity of 12,000 people. What we got? Over function wins the day here as this century old high school football stadium. I mean, it's 100 years El old. El Paso High School, nicknamed the Lady on the Hill. This Sorry, this building in the background is awesome, though. What is this back? What is this building up here? Is this part of the school? That's an awesome building. I mean, high school, nicknamed the Lady on the Hill. The school's features include marble floors and, and ghost an students. theater. It's unclear whether El Paso High student it Robert was cool Francis from there. Or played for the football team, but I'm sure he probably dropped out of the program I like it. early. But number two was that. Oh, that was number three. Here we have number two. And number two, we got the Stadium Bowl. Woodrow Wilson High School, Stadium High School, Tacoma, Washington. Opened in 1910 with a capacity of 15,000 people. Not as impressive a facility Ooh, as many of the other. I like this one. Here, but this is odd. Does Look matter. at that castle as next the to it. Stadium Bowl in Tacoma, Washington overlooks the Puget Sound while the adjacent Stadium High School, yes, that's the name of the school, looks over the field. Penn State, Texas A&M, and the Wazoo Cougars have all played college the games Wazoo here. Cougars. Though the offset this is seating beautiful, and man. concrete bleachers probably aren't fun to sit in. As I said, the view is amazing. Uh, Concrete bleachers, you're at a high school game, what are you expecting? Do you even pay? Do you even have to pay to go and watch high school games? That's another thing. I guess you do in America, right? You won't pay for to go and watch a high school game in England. <laughs> now for the best high school football stadium in the US and A. Eagle Stadium, Allen High School, Allen, Texas Open 2012. Capacity 18,000. Mad. There's a team called Luton Town who have just got in the Premier League in England and you should see their stadium. It's not even as good as these. It's like built in the middle of terraced housing. You have to go and check that out. Honestly, if you want to laugh, just go and, go and YouTube it. Better than this stadium is the football that's played inside of it. As since its opening in 2012, Allen High School has never lost a game here. A cumulative 31-0. and 0. It's hard to believe that this 18,000 seat facility is indeed just for a high school as it confirms everything you saw about football in Texas from the movie and show Friday Night Lights is mostly true. Oh. Well, the fans supporting their team, that is. 
This stadium was temporarily closed in 2014 due to concrete cracking. It also has a 75 by 45 foot large scoreboard with a 38 by 23 foot HD screen. You love a big scoreboard and screen, don't you, in America? players went to Allen High, including some kid named Kyler Murray. Okay. I can see why that's number one then. It's a bit mad that it opened in 2012 and it got, um, hey, it got closed for concrete cracking in 2014. That didn't take very long, did it? But this was cool. It was very good. I do enjoy a stadium video. I don't know what it is about them, but I just love looking at these stadiums. This was mad for high schools. I, but before I'm, surely there's no like massive primary school football stadiums. Is there? What are people playing in before they get to this level? Surely you're just playing at a field in primary school or middle school, whatever you guys call it. Let me know down below if there's any other stadium videos you do want me to do or any other type of video as well. We can get round to it. I'll see you for the next one. Take it easy. Peace.